Hey everyone, and thank you for joining today. I wanna to share with you five tools in 2021 that are gonna be a necessity for you to have in your security stack. One of the first tools that we wanna to discuss with you today is something that falls into the EDR category. Now we recommend Silence Protect. It's a well-known software application that protects everything from your endpoints to your servers to Linux OSs. The second tool that I wanna to talk to you about today is actually one of my favorites. It is the SIM. Now, 80% of small businesses out there in the United States actually do not have SIM today. And this is so important for small businesses to actually start to utilize SIM inside of their environments because log analysis and the detection of anomalous activity on the network is crucial today. So in addition to SIM, there's a third component and it's the third tool that we like to use with our clients. It's called user behavior analytics. Now, historically, if you'd look back over the last few years, user behavior analytics has been a completely separate tool outside of SIM. Even some SIM companies have added on user behavior analytics as a bolt-on. However, inside of Securonix, one of the main reasons why we like the tool so much is, is that user behavior analytics was where they grew the roots, where they started out, and they then put SIM on top of user behavior analytics. The fourth tool that I wanna discuss with you today is actually a network monitor. Now, in today's world, the network monitor is actually extremely critical because lateral movement can happen inside of your network without you even knowing without a network monitor. A couple of the network monitors that we actually use, we have a primary one and it's called Zeek. Zeek is the freemium, uh, non-paid for version. However, Core Light is the paid for version and both versions are great. The fifth tool that we're gonna discuss today is actually around identity access management. Today's landscape is so important for you to understand who is in control of the identities that are running in your environment, the access that they have, and ensuring that the party that is intended to use that identity always has full control. Thanks for joining today. I hope you enjoyed the top five tips for 2021. Now, next week, join us again, and I'm gonna share with you more insights, more tips, and more tricks that we have been seeing so that you can increase your cybersecurity posture inside your organization.